Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay for you. We're in another weekend league game. And I'm going to be going over a defensive scheme that I was using to pretty much uh, be lights out throughout most of the weekend league. Um, I got a couple of other defensive uh, schemes that I want to put out from the very same weekend league. If you guys want to see those, make sure to hit the like button. But for today, I'm going to show you a kind of familiar one. If you watched my videos last week where I was doing a lot of practice mode stuff, I had a lot of new defensive schemes uh, in today's video is going to be um, kind of highlighting how well they work in gameplay. Now I'm in the Kansas City Chiefs ebook as always. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description below. It's obviously, in my opinion, it's the best playbook in the game, the best defensive playbook in the game, one of the best passing defensive playbooks in the game as well. Uh, but I'm going to introduce a very strong run defense in this particular video uh, to go along with all the great blitzes and pass defenses that I have. Other than that, if you guys want to do me a little bit of a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button for me to help this video out. Like, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps me out. So if you want to show support, you can show support that way. And if you like what you see, make sure you stick around by hitting the subscribe button. So starting off on offense, I'm pretty much going to use uh, the doubles Y off as my main uh, running scheme. I already put this out. I'll try to put links in the description below for the schemes, uh, the, the plays that I've already put out so you guys can check that out. But I'm pretty much only going to use two plays uh, the entire time. Stretch alert bubble and the L1 trap. Those are the two plays I use the most. If I see a packed box defense like this, though, I typically don't want to match it. And I don't really have a ton of great passing plays to go along with it. But I'm just paying to see what his defense is. And sure enough, he's in a cover four drop. So he's a, he's a cover four noob. I have a couple of good plays for that. But I make the wrong substitution. I wanted to put Henry Ruggs here and accidentally put C.D. Lamb there. The play is the strong curl. It's going to come up twice in this gameplay. But the very first time I tried to run it like i said i had the wrong guy at this spot i wanted more speed uh it probably would have worked out but like i said i don't have a lot of faith throwing at the cd lamb in this tight of a window how about new? So I take the check down there. Gets me to third one. Uh, and then I come right back to this 0-1 trap. Although you can see he's packing the box. Like I said, this is a, this run formation is really best against like nickel formation. So not going to work out too great right there. But I get the first. Next play, looks like he switched to a cover two. And I try to go over the top, but he's all over that. So I basically just had to play defense nope. on that particular play. Third and 14, though, we're going to go right to... Uh, I mean, this is something that I've been using all you know last couple of weeks. Here's the PA seams play. Another play that I... I just put out and sure enough this Y route here is just going to beat no matter what defense you're looking at with the exception of maybe cover three so they beat the cover two man they would get a big play and then I'm going to go to another run play that I just put out the halfback power G all the stuff that I just put out it's all coming together now uh, the halfback power G is such an overpowered run even with him stacking the box like this I mean look how stacked this box is and cover four is actually a really good uh, run because the safeties play down it almost looks like even run committed but it doesn't matter because this is such a good run the power G is just so good if you know how to run it so we score a touchdown there. On the defensive side, uh, the formation that I'm going to use probably the most is the nickel over G. It's, it's one of the two meta formations. Uh, my setup on the defensive side, since I'm playing Mutt for people to play Mutt, I added Champ Bailey to the roster. Uh, I just upgraded recently over Namdi. I had Namdi Awesome for a while, but I wanted a little bit more speed. So we have three really good cornerbacks. As far as the abilities and superstar abilities and all that stuff go, my two outside cornerbacks have universal coverage and one step ahead. Uh, and then I have four acrobats on the field which is essentially going to be my three top corners and uh, Tyron Matthew, who I play a linebacker because he has one of the higher man coverages uh, possible to play in that position. So I'm going to always put my cornerback here. My third cornerback is going to take over that safety spot. Then I run four safeties. I got my two deep safeties, are usually the weaker ones. I try to put my best man safeties at these linebacker spots. So Tyron Matthew and Derwin James are typically the two that I have there because they have the highest man coverages. Um, and then I also put linebackers at the defensive end spots, putting my best two pass rushers in the middle, which is Javon Kurse and Aaron Donald. The play itself is going to be the cover two man once again, but based off of all the adjustments that I make, it's not a very strong run defense. So that's going to bring the second play into account a little bit later. The adjustments that I make now compared to the adjustments that I made in the past with this defense I only put one of these defensive ends into a three wreck I used to put both of them into hook zones now I'm just putting one into a three wreck and to do that's pretty easy all you have to do is put one of them on a bluff blitz uh, then essentially I pretty much just use her the other one and that's the only thing I have to really do I didn't get to get my full adjustment in so in this first play I'm using Aaron Donald uh, which you know from going forward will typically be a linebacker nope but bottom line we have very tight coverage there second to get back to this the substitution screen I go ahead and I put in my user linebacker, pushing Aaron Donald inside. 
Then I see he comes out in a two wide receiver set. This is going to be the biggest determination between what defense I run. If he runs a two wide receiver set, I'm going right to my next defense, which is the 4-3 under. Now, this is the run defense that I was telling you guys about. This, it's not going to change much. I'm going to use the exact same cover to man. The only difference is I'm not making any adjustments. I'm leaving my full defensive package in there. And the only thing I'm really going to do is I'm going to shift my defense in what direction I think the play is going to go. Now, if I think it's going to be a pass, I'll shift it in this direction because you can see it man aligns better. But if I think it's going to be a run, I'll shift it back the other way. You can see the second that receiver starts motioning across, I shift it right back to the other direction because it's more than likely going to be an inside zone. You can see right there, boom, we get the stop for a two-yard loss. This is my run defense. So the entire game is pretty much all I'm going to do is watch the seeds. You're going two or three receivers or three receivers. And based off of what I see, I'm going to basically switch back and forth between these two formations. Now here he's in an empty backfield set. I man align. I don't even get my full adjustment in because I was trying to man align. And we still get the stop. I mean, we get a nice knockdown there. Uh, he's going to come out in a lot of empty sets. A lot of people might do this because it's really difficult to throw against a defense like this. So you can see pretty much all I'm doing, the exact same setup. Got my guy in a three wreck, and this is pretty much going to be the uh, the setup for most of the game uh, with the exception of some zone plays, which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. No, nope. We're just getting super tight coverage as he throws an incompletion on a fourth and 13. I don't know why people go for it so much in uh, weekend league, but it is what it is. So he's giving me the ball at the 19-yard line. I try to hit him with a few nerf stretches. You can see they don't have the same success as that power yeah. G as they just get shot down uh, so I come up with a third and ten uh, I, I, I diagnose a cover three I really think that that's what I'm looking at uh, but they they really patch this quite a bit so I really can't make the uh, the adjustments the same way that I have in the past on my middle high low play and I do have a step there but I just don't trust it based off the fact that the end zones right behind them so I hold on to it just take the sack and basically just decide to take the field goal two possession lead uh, is going to be you know that's that's enticing enough so I take that 10 nothing lead back on defense he's in a two wide receiver set so we're gonna go with our two wide receiver defense the uh, four three uh, under and sure enough i mean i'm thinking this looks like a uh, triple option play so i move my defensive end over just a little bit to make sure that if he does come this way with the with the fullback that i can take that away and then sure enough he comes this way with the quarterback Break yourself fool and he just gets lit up. So you can see how this is a shutdown run defense. He's not going to do that much anymore. He's going to go right back to the three wide receiver set. And sure enough, we're going to pretty much be in this base defense for a large portion of the game. On this next play, he starts to roll out. And if I would have hit the right click button right about here, I probably could have forced an impact completion but i was too behind on it uh that's kind of one of the things that the three wreck does is he also is supposed to be a last second blitzer for when the quarterback rolls out but i didn't do it and he gets a playmaker and he makes a play on this next play though i'm not gonna let that exact same thing happen the second he starts to roll out we hit that click button you can see the nope. three wreck goes right after him and sure enough he has to throw it away that's something you really got to be johnny on the spot with uh when it comes to this defense but for the most part i'm shutting down 90 percent of what he's doing with just this base defense on the next play though he's gonna you know nope. exact same thing i mean these, these pass rushers aaron donald is just such a monster as he splits the double team on that play third and ten he's going to try to hit me with some crossers now i mean i'm using the crossers pretty well but on this play i get caught a little bit behind nope. uh, and then we still get the pressure to force the incompletion so it doesn't really matter then on fourth and ten i mean he's going to come out in the two wide set once again but i don't really care i'm not going to match in this situation so in this situation i come out in my same nickel over g somehow i get a penalty uh i, I don't know did you see it did you see me running into the receiver as we get kind of a phantom pi call but ultimately it keeps him alive so first and ten like i said he hasn't had much success other than maybe one pass play you can see that the pass defense nope it really is one step ahead i mean it's lights out right now as we're shutting down pretty much everything he's got you can see even here on the zig route which zig routes nope. typically <laughs> they typically beat that so you can see where we're just getting all over that slants comebacks zig routes he's really got nothing going against this man coverage right now and then on the very next play i guess he gets a little frustrated throws it up into that cover too gotcha, bitch. we're gonna take that the other way so I mean, we've pretty much been dominant this first half as far as the defense goes. Uh, and I think a big part of it, like I said, is the chems that I have on here, the, the superstar and uh, billies that I have. So second and five, we're going to go right back to that strong curl play. This is a play that I tried to run earlier, but I had the wrong guy in the wrong place. I got that corrected now, though. As I motion in this running back and put him on a streak, uh, I mean, this is Tyreek Hill's out there now. He's got enough speed to do this. You can see, I mean, if you have separation like this to start a play, I mean, this is just murder. Most people don't really know this play, though, despite the fact that it's one of the more successful plays that I put out. And we're just going to get this Y route to the outside. I mean, this is you can't really cover this if you're not going to have at least alignment. So back on defense, he's still going to be running uh, a lot of this split back look set. Uh, on the first play, he hits me with a, a nice quarterback option. I changed it to conservative after that, but ultimately, 
Uh, you know, he, he's not going to beat me with that too much more. And then on the next play, I mean, I send the closest defender again. This is, you know, I'm getting enough of nope. a pass rush to even with Michael Vick I'm bottling him up. And then you can see on the next play, once again, it looks like an instant replay. As we're just, you know, I mean, nope. he hasn't had a lot of plays that have been successful so far. Next play hits me with a little bit of a screen. I mean, I had a guy man to that. But I need a better fourth safety. I have, I'm trying to use my rookie premier card, Xavier McKinney, but he's complete trash and he gets burned all the time. But once again, pressure, two-man pressure coming through. Then on second and ten, he finally beats me with a play down the field. He beats me with a nice uh, crossing route, uh, and that's pretty much going to be you know what brings me to my next defense. Once they start beating you with crossers, you really can use one of these two defenses here in this scheme: the cover four palms or the cover six trap. Uh, the setup, as far as it goes, I mean, on this particular play, based on the fact that he's pushing the ball down the field, I put one of these defensive ends into a hook curl, but I typically put him into a hard flat or uh, something of that nature. That's pretty much going to be the look. And I just use the other defensive end once again. I take away this this flat here so well that I really don't think that he's going to throw it. So I move on. Yep. The second I do, he actually does throw it to that flat. So I was like, man, I could have probably had an easy pick if I had just stuck with that. I guess nothing else was really open. So next play, second and six. Uh, exact same setup. And we're just going to keep move, moving from these two defenses. As you can see when he's trying to nope. cross the field. It's pretty lights out. So we hold him to a field goal there, uh, which I actually call a timeout. Timeout? thinking maybe I could trigger an icing animation. It doesn't trigger the animation, but it actually did ice him, as you can see right here. He misses the field goal wide. It wasn't an easy field goal, but probably should have still got it. So then second half, you can tell somebody misses the QB draw as he tries to run the uh, the broken version of it and it gets nowhere. On the next play, I mean, you know, this play, you can see it almost looks like a man alignment, the way that the guys are facing their individual assignments. And I think he probably read man cover too. Tries to hit me with a slant, and sure enough, this dude just jumps it, and we get an interception. So he's pretty much had enough. He's going to take, take a walk. And you can see how successful this defensive scheme is. Like I said, I'll try to put a link in the description below for the practice version that I put out. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, though, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks Yo, for watching, man. Wish it out. Perfect. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.